Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see how to configure a Cisco switch. Firstly, we will verify the default switch configuration. Then we will configure a basic switch settings. Then we will configure a MOTD that is message of the day banner. And finally, we will save the configuration files to NVRAM. Friends, before coming to the configuration, uh, if you are watching my channel first time or if you are not yet subscribed this channel, consider subscribing. Also, enable the bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message whenever I upload the new videos. Well, here we are going to use uh, switch 2960. Also, we are going to use a PC here. And we are going to connect uh, this uh, switch to this PC using console. Console to PC 0 RS232. We will rename these devices. This is S1. This is our PC A. Here we are using this uh, console cable for uh, uh, configuring the basic settings on the Cisco devices. So we will come to PC-A and we will access uh, this S1 using terminal. Here is that. We will leave this as default and press enter or OK. And here we can see now we are in uh, the switch. Here it says so press return to get started. So we are going to press enter and here we can see now we are in user exit mode. No, first of all, we are going to verify the default uh, switch configuration. Uh, for that, we have to uh, enter to privileged exit mode. We have to give the command enable. We can see now we are in uh, uh, privileged exit mode. Here we are going to give a show command uh, for uh, verifying the default uh, switch configuration. Show running config and we will verify that. Here we can see the details. Here we can see the host name by default. It's a switch. Also, we can see no service password encryption. We will do that. Here we can see a spanning tree mode PVST. Also, we can see the number of interfaces. Interface faster third not zero slash one. We can see till twenty four. Also, we can see a 2 gigabit Ethernet interface here, 0 slash 1 as well as 0 slash 2. Also, we can see a virtual interface. Here we can see a line console 0. Also, we can see the lines for the VTY uh, 0 till 15. So, these are the uh, default configuration uh, on the Cisco switch. So now we will uh, create a basic switch configuration. First of all, we are going to assign a name to a switch. Coming to our uh, switch here, we can see by default, uh, here it shows uh, the name as a switch. We can uh, change this uh, uh, switch name. For that, we have to go to a global configuration mode. We have to give a configure terminal. And here we can see host name. Here is that set the systems and network name, right? So we are going to set that host name. Then we have to set the name for this uh, device. Here we are going to set as yes one. Just after pressing enter here, we can see uh, the name of the switch is uh, changed from uh, default name switch to yes one what we set. Next, we are going to secure access to the console line. So here what I am going to do, I am going to exit from a global configuration mode. And again, I am going to exit from uh, this switch. And here we can see press return to get started. And I'm going to press enter here again. And now we can see just after entering, uh, we are directly getting to user exit mode. Here it did not prompt for the username or password. So here we can see uh, it's not secure. So now we are going to uh, set the password for this console line. So for securing access to the console line, we have to go to uh, the line mode, the specific configuration mode. 
so enable configure terminal and here we are going to give line console then we have first line number zero and here we are going to give the password we can uh, specify the password here what we needed here i am going to give cisco then we are going to give a login so that next login it will prompt for this uh, uh, password now we are going to exit now we will verify this console access is secured or not we will exit again we will exit and here we can see press return to get started and now we are going to press enter and here we can see user access verification we have to give the password here whatever we set it's Cisco so here we can see whenever we type the password uh, that password is not showing here uh, just after entering the correct password we have to enter so that we will go to user exit mode now we will verify this configuration using the show command uh, show running config uh, for that we have to go to a privileged exit mode enable show running config and here we can see the host name what we set it's s1 also here we can see line console 0 we given the password as cisco also we given this uh, login uh, command if you are not giving this login command uh, in the next login it won't prompt for the password so we must give this uh, login command just after setting this password next we are going to see how to secure privileged mode access so here i am going to disable and here we can see now we are in user exit mode so when we go to privileged exit mode here we can see we can see directly we are going to privileged exit mode so instead of that here it should prompt for a password so uh, so that we are going to secure this privileged mode access coming to the configuration we have to go to global configuration mode and here we have to give enable and here we can see password as well as secret two options assign the privileged level password so uh, when we give this uh, password it will be a uh, plain text password so here we can see a secret assign the privileged level secret that means uh, it is it will be an encrypted password so first of all we will we use this password enable password here we are going to give the password as class we will verify that using the show command show running config and here we can see enable password class so here we can see that password it's a plain text password we will see uh, whether uh, this uh, uh, privileged mode access uh, is secured or not so we will disable and now we will go to uh, privileged exit mode using the command enable and here we can see it's prompted for the password so the password is class now we will configure an encrypted password to secure access to privileged mode so for that we have to go to global configuration mode enable here we have seen its secret and we have to uh, set that password here I am going to give its a secret and we will verify that uh, using the show command show running config and here we can see enable secret and we cannot see the password but we given it shows here as encrypted also here we can see it shows enable secret 5 so this 5 indicates so here we can see specifies an encrypted secret will follow so that's why it's encrypted now we will test it disable and here we are going to give enable and it's prompted for the password here for this uh, privileged exit mode we set two password one is enable password and the next one is enable secret so here one thing we have to keep in mind the enable secret will override enable password so here we set enable secret as uh, it's a secret so we are going to give that password here here we can see now we are in privileged exit mode 
now we are going to enable the password for the virtual terminal for that we have to go to configure terminal global configuration mode then we have to go to line we have vty virtual terminal we'll go to this vty then here we can see the first line number we have uh, from 0 till 15 so we are going to set password for all these lines from 0 to 15 last line number 15 here we are going to set the password we have to specify the password here I am going to give the password as Cisco also we have to give a login we will verify that using show running config and here we can see line VTY 0 to 4 password is Cisco also shown uh, line VTY 5 to 15 password is Cisco also we enabled login command now we are going to encrypt the enable uh, and console VTY passwords. So uh, coming to this uh, show command here we can see uh, the enable password class it's a plain text password also coming to uh, the line passwords here the line console we can see password as Cisco also coming to line VTY 0 to 15 here we can see the password as Cisco. So here uh, these passwords are in plain text passwords so here we are going to encrypt these plain text passwords using the command service password encryption in the global configuration mode so we will go to configure terminal here we are going to give the command service password encryption so here we can see that password encryption encrypt system passwords We will verify uh, this configuration using the show command show running config and here we can see enable password now it's encrypted also coming to the line console here we can see it's encrypted also coming to line vty it's encrypted next we are going to uh, configure a message of the day that is MOTD banner yes so the Cisco iOS uh, a basic settings include a feature that allows you to configure message that anyone logging into the switch sees uh, these messages are called message of the day or MOTD banner here one thing we have to keep in mind uh, we have to start with a delimiter also uh, we must end with the same delimiter uh, which should not be appearing in the MOTD string we will do that configuration we have to go to global configuration mode here we are going to give a banner MOTD message of the day then here we are going to give a delimiter we can use any character which is not uh, should not be present in the MOTD string so here I am going to use this uh, simple dollar and I am going to give the message here this is a secure system authorized the access only it's a warning also I'm going to end with the same delimiter what I started that is dollar symbol so here we are going to get this MOTD message uh, what are we given between these two delimiter that is this is a secure system authorized access only in the next login we will verify that we will exit here we can see press return to get started now we are going to press enter and here we can see the MOTD this is a secure system authorized to access only now we are going to save the configuration file we have completed the basic configuration of the switch here now we are going to back up the running configuration file to the NVRAM that is non-volatile RAM to ensure that the changes made are not lost if the system is rebooted or loses power before copying to uh, NVRAM we will uh, uh, see the NVRAM content password is Cisco enable password is uh, it's a secret so here we are going to give show 
startup config and here we can see startup config is not present so now we are going to uh, save the configuration file from this running configuration uh, to nvram using the command copy running config space startup config destination file name here we are going to press enter again so that we will uh, save with the default uh, destination file name building configuration okay now we can verify that show startup config and here we can see the details here if we examine the startup configuration file we can see it is the same as the running configuration well in this video we have seen how to uh, do basic settings on uh, cisco switch such as a setting na name of the device also setting the passwords uh, for a console vty also for the privileged exit modes also we configured a motd banner friends we will have a lot of basic cisco videos so stay tuned consider subscribing also please suggest and comment in the comment section if needed any topic to be explained thank you